Let's go to Proverbs 18 and 21. To the left is the King James Version. To the right is the Expanded Bible. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. What is that saying there? This is saying there is much power in our words. Death and life are in our words. So, let me say this right quick. Since we know that there is so much power in our words, if you are a parent and you have children, <clears throat> why would you use curse words against your children? Why would you curse your children out? Don't you know that you are affecting your children negatively when you do that? That is evil. And you may say, hey, get out of my business. I can do whatever I want to because they are my kids. True, but you are going to reap what you sow as well. You can't do evil and expect good to happen to you. So let me go right back. Since we know that there are power or there is power in our words, <clears throat> why are we speaking or why are some people speaking so negatively about themselves or other people? For instance, I am so ugly. I am so hideous. I am worthless. No one loves me. No one cares for me. No one will ever be there for me. So on and so on. Why are you saying that? Death and life are in the power of your words. So the more you say something, the more real it is going to become. It is going to affect you or affect you. No, affect, yes. It is going to affect you. And when you speak negatively about other people to them, your words are going to affect them as well. So why are you going to do that? And you may say, well, I never heard about this before, Kevin. You know, I never heard this in elementary school, middle school, high school, college. Hey, I never heard this before, so whatever. Listen. There is so much more in this world that we can't see than what we can see. What we can't see governs what we can see. So what we can't see controls what we can see. So why would I abide or think first about the rules of this earth, things things that I can see and neglect the rules of the spiritual. Why would I do that? When it is the spiritual that controls the natural. The Bible is telling you that, that death and life are in the power of the tongue. But since you never heard this in your schools and stuff like that, you are saying to yourself, hey, I am going to do whatever I want to do. And you are choosing to speak negatively about yourself. And what you say becomes more real in your life. Why not use positive words for your benefit? Why not say to people, God bless them? 
Why not say to people, I pray that things will always go well with you? Why not pray positive things to people or about people? Why not pray good things about people? Yes. Why not say that I am or you are handsome or beautiful, even if you don't feel like you are? Give me a second, please. Wow. Why not say that you are having a great day even when you feel like you are having a bad day? Why not say that you are not having any problems even when you feel like you are having problems? And you may say, well, isn't that lying? No. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. Why speak negatively about yourself? Why mention bad things that are happening to you? When you speak it, it becomes more real. How did God create things on this earth? With his words, right? I am not saying that we carry the same potency as God in our words. What I am trying to say, we have power in our words like God has power in his words. I am not saying that it is as strong, but we have power in our words too. So this is to say, we must not underestimate our words, right? Would you say that? I would. Use your words for your benefit. Speak life, death and life, right? So you've been speaking death over your life, right? Over and over and over again. When you say that, when you say words, all of what you are saying is not true, but they become more true when you say it, right? So you are speaking death over yourself. Speak life over yourself. How do you speak life over yourself? By speaking positively about yourself and over people. Whether you are speaking to them or about them when they are not there. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, in our words but you choose to speak death over your life and wonder why things are not changing. <laughs> you have to follow this spiritual principle right here. This governs life right here. Well, part of it, or one of many things. If you can't get this right, more than likely, you are going to get other things wrong as well. So, what if you can only remember 10 seconds of what I said? Remember this, speak life, speak positive words over yourself, even when you feel like what you are saying about yourself is not true. I am a lovely person, even when you feel like you are not. I am having a great day, even if you feel like you are not. Why? You are speaking life over yourself. Speak positively to people as well. Why? Because your words have power. God's words have power too, right? Obviously, he has given us power in our words as well. We can either choose to use our words in a bad way and curse ourselves with it, or we can choose to use it in a positive way and bless ourselves with it as well. 
this may be something that you have not learned in church or anywhere else. This is why I choose, now don't get me wrong, there are some times when I get down and depressed and stuff like that, yes. But most of the time, hey, I am going to say good things about myself. I am not going to beat myself down. For what? Why, if bad things are happening to me, why am I going to curse myself with my own words? Think about that. If bad things are happening to me, why am I going to prop up more the bad that is happening to me? Since I know that I can speak life over myself and it can change things in my life, why aren't I going to speak good things about myself when it is going to affect me. I don't know if this makes sense. If demons are placing bad things in your life, why are you going to prop up what they are doing in your life and speak life in that? Oh, I am feeling really awful. Oh. There is pain all over my body. Why are you saying that? Well, it is true. Even if you believe it is true, speak the opposite. Speak positive. I am healed in Jesus name right now. Even if you don't feel healed, this is the point I am making. This is saying that you choose you can choose to speak death over yourself or this is saying that you can choose to speak death over yourself, which is speaking negatively about yourself, or you can choose to speak life over yourself, which is positively about yourself. You get to choose. You get to choose to curse yourself or to bless yourself. So why are so many people choosing to curse themselves? Think about that. I have the power to change things in my life, but I am choosing to speak negatively about myself, in the end, cursing myself and wondering what is going on. It is your words. There is power in our words. I pray that this makes sense. God bless.